Hi guys, um, so today I'm going to show you how to do uh, fairy hair or tinsel. I'm going to be using blue and I already have uh, one in, here it is. I love these because they last a long time in your hair and um, they look very natural and cute and they're heat resistant, you can wash them. Um, you can blow dry your hair, you can straighten it, you could do anything with them. I have another one somewhere around here. There you go. Um, there it is. And this one I've actually had since like March and we're in August now, so I've had it forever and it's and I'm and it's been really good. It hasn't fallen out. This one I just added. Um yeah, so I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys uh, all, oops. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I have. Um, see, I have all these colors. They're really pretty and shiny. Um, they're just really awesome um, colors. Oops, I hope I get this right. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm gonna be doing it on myself. I'm gonna teach you two ways of doing it and they're very simple ways. Um, so the first way is gonna be a slip knot. Um, so I'm gonna teach you how to do a slip knot. So you grab your fairy hair. This one I was already using. Okay, so you grab your fairy hair, you get one strand. Um, okay, it's very long so you wanna kind of measure it to the hair where you're gonna add it to. So I'm gonna add it like right about right here. So I'm gonna, it's better to cut it shorter instead of longer, cause it looks more natural when you do it shorter. So from the root to about right here, I'm gonna cut right here. So I'm gonna cut um, that much. And I just cut it right off. And um, you're only gonna get about two or three hairs. If your hair is really thin, you probably wanna get three or four. If your hair is really thick, you could probably get like two or three um, or thin three or four. Um, so a slip knot is you put your finger right through like a little loop. Make sure you're lined them up good and it's like a, lined up really good so that way you can put your finger right through it and you twist sorry okay so my finger is right through it and then i'm gonna twist and i'm gonna grab some of the hair not all of it so it's gonna be like this see it's um that's a slip knot you can google it too how to do a slip knot but there's mine right there um, so I'm going to have it like this and now I'm going to get my hair. So I'm only going to get, um, like three strands I'm going to get. So here we go. And I'm going to grab it because I have my, my fairy hair. I'm going to grab it right through the fairy hair and pull your real hair out. And then we're gonna tie the the fairy hair and your real hair and kind of yank it a little and just tie it a little and then you can tie it again sorry okay so you'll do another knot just kind of like a regular knot like you're tying your shoe sorry okay here we go and then you just kind of See, there you go. Okay, and now it's tight. Um, it's supposed to be closer to your root, but that's okay. So, I'm sorry if you can't see this well. But there you go. So I have tied it, and it's tight, secure. And it, I only need about two, two knots, and it's in there. There we go. And then you can't even feel it when you touch it and you can't even see it where, you know, it's connected to, you see? There you go. It's right there. And there's your fairy hair. 
Okay, so there's one way of doing it. Another way, and this is much easier than a slip knot if you don't know how to do a slip knot. Like I learned how to do a slip knot because I wanted to add fairy hair to myself. I add fairy hair to my friends or um, family and it's much easier because I have a tinsel, I have a tool that I use. I'll show you my tool. I'm actually not ready. Okay, here's my tool, yay. So this is my crochet needle. And um, it's way easier because I kind of grab your hair with this and I grab the, um, maybe I'll do a tutorial of how to do it with a crochet needle because it's way easier. It's just not easy to do it on your own hair. But um, here we go. So this is the second way. So we're going to do it. We're still going to do it on this side. Um, or maybe we could try it on this side. I'll try it on this side. Hold on. So I'm going to skip this commercial in one second. That second has lasted forever. And it's still going. I hope I can edit this. <laughs> okay. It's still going. Wow. It's not skipping. It doesn't want to skip. Okay. So we'll just leave that alone. So we're gonna measure, remember it has to be aligned together from, cause it's a long, so you're gonna, it's a long strand. It's one strand, it's long, so you're gonna do it in half and you're gonna align it together. And then you're gonna measure it from your hair. So I'm probably gonna do it like right here. Oops, I keep losing it. Okay, from my root all the way, I'm probably gonna cut it right here. So this is my, where I'm gonna cut, how much I'm gonna cut. And I just cut it right off. Bing. <laughs> so I just cut it. And this is a much easier way because all you're gonna do is do like a normal, like you're tying it. So just like a normal, like you're tying a knot, just a normal knot um, in a circle. You see, just like you're tying a shoelace or a bow or something, you know? So just a circle, oops, I dropped it. Okay, so just a circle. See, there's my big circle. Um, so just a circle like that. So there's my circle. So then we're gonna put our fingers right through that circle so we can grab our hair. So we're gonna grab uh, two, two of our hairs Okay, let's see. Is that two? Yes, that's two. Okay. And then we're gonna put it right through that circle. You know, I think I'm gonna grab three because two is not working out for me right now. And some of my hairs are longer than the others because they have broken. I have broken hair. Okay, so I have two, I think that's two or three. There we go. Okay, you guys could see me now. Okay, so I have my knot ready. I'm gonna put my hair right through it. See, it's going right through it. See, my, my tinsel is right through that hair. And then all you're gonna do is close it. There you go, kinda yank it a little again. And then we're gonna do one more time. It's hot, guys. And once we do it that one more time, you gotta make sure the hair is good. And sometimes I have knotted my hair up a little. We don't wanna do that. So just be careful. There you go. I didn't do it close to the root this time and it wasn't aligned. So you can see one side is longer than the other, but that's okay, cause we can just cut it. You see, or you can leave it, but I, I, I'm not gonna leave it. I rather you guys not leave it either. You just cut it right as, uh, as much as the other one. I can't find the other one. Okay. Oh, and it came right off. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. It's okay. Takes practice. It takes practice. 
So you just keep practicing and practice on your friends and stuff. It's fun. I like fairy hair. It's like a little fun activity, fun thing to do. And it's really cute. And the best part about it is that, you know, you can wash your hair, blow dry. You can um, straighten it, curl it, do whatever you want, girl. Do whatever you want to that hair. And that tinsel will be there, this fairy hair. So here we go. I'm cutting about that much, about this much right here. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened to the music. There we go. Oh, okay. I hope I can edit this. It's, it's becoming a long video. Okay. So we're gonna do it again. We'll do, I wonder what's best for you guys, right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a circle, like I'm just gonna do a knot, like a regular knot, pull it right through that circle. And then I have my little circle. And then once I get my hair, I can just close it and it will tie it right, right up, you know? So I'm just gonna open that circle a little more Try to make sure that they're aligned because last time I did it, one was longer than the other. So just try to get them aligned as much as possible. So there you go. So now I'm gonna put my fingers right through here like this. You can put three or two, whatever you, you feel comfortable with doing. And you're gonna grab uh, two or three of your hairs. I'm gonna do three and that's a lot. Okay, so here we go. I grab about three and I'm gonna just put it in my little knot. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, here we go. I got it. And now I'm just gonna tie it. The slip knot is good because all you gotta do is pull it, you know? It's easier than this because you have to tie it another time with the slip knot you tie it twice as well but it's much easier to grab okay so i just pull it right through in there and you tie it make sure your hair is good and you're not tying around your hair but on your hair okay and then you yank and then i got it right in there Sometimes you can try to see if it'll go down and it went down. And you can do it another time to, this time I'll do three times to make it more secure. It's it's um a lot more challenging this way. Ah! I'm gonna teach you how to, well, how to do the slip knot again because this, this way is not working and it wasn't aligned again. And it came off again. So just forget about that. Hopefully I can um, edit this. If not, I'm just gonna post it. <laughs> okay, so let's do the slip knot again. Cause the other one didn't work. Um, it worked for me, it worked for me, but I guess I'm just having a hard time doing it right now. Um, but okay. So again, I'm gonna try to use, well, I already used this one up. I should have used the same fairy hair, not to waste it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. I kinda know already what I need to cut, so I'm gonna cut about that much. There you go, I cut it. And the slip knot, again, it's hot in here. <laughs> okay, because of all this light. Okay, slip knot, like this. You put your finger right through it twist and then do a little um, loop and then you grab oops I didn't do it properly slip knot one more time you put your finger right through it twist and then you grab the other side <laughs> I don't know how to explain this okay the first time I did it, I did it good. So there's your slip knot right there. 
it's it's really simple once you get the hang of it. It takes practice. And then you just put your fingers right through it and you grab your hair. You grab three, three, and then you put it right through that slip knot. See, it's much easier because I put my hair right through it. Once my hair is through it, all I gotta do is pull. Pull, and then yank a little. Don't pull your hair out. Be gentle with your hair, love your hair. And then do another knot. Ah, okay. Just put, see, there you go. You're doing another knot. And you just tie it a little, wait, hold on. What I need to do is I need to pull it back to the root because it kind of was slipping out. You wanna take the hairs away and just put it down and then you can tie it. Tie it tight, there you go. And then try to see if you can put it down some more. You heard that, okay. Tie it, tie it one more time because this one didn't feel that secure. Just see, it's like another circle and then just make sure that you get your the hair that you're trying to get and not the rest of your hair okay and then put it back to your root okay i got it now and it's tight yank yank a little yank yank and then there you go it should be nice and secure now let's see it's 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 nice and secure okay but it, it comes off sometimes depending on how slick your hair is. How straight. It's way much better when somebody does it for you. I am more than willing to do it for you. <laughs> yeah, because this, this just takes a long time. But there you go. And then now you just, you can go ahead and cut it because you see it's longer and it's up front. So my my hair is in layers so it looks longer and um so if my hair is like up front like this and i have the rest to the back then this is gonna be longer and you don't want that so we will cut it there you go and uh hopefully it sticks the other one's stuck and it's it's good but this one's like not sticking. I don't know what's wrong with this one. Okay. But this one see stuck and it's in there nice and secure. I should probably cut it too, it's, it looks long. So I'm gonna cut this one. Make sure you guys don't cut your hair. Get a parent if you need a parent to help you. It's fun when you get a parent. So now I'm gonna brush my hair. You brush from the bottom to the top and gently. But look, I'm even gonna brush hard and it's not coming out. It's right in there. I took too long waking, making this video, guys. So I'm probably gonna edit a lot of it. If I can. But see, even this one didn't come out and I'm so excited about it. Just don't try to brush from here because you might pull it out. So that's why it's better to brush from the bottom so it won't come out. But see, I'm brushing, I'm brushing, and they're still in there. I'm gonna do one more for you guys. I don't know if you guys want me to do it now. How about we do a different color? I'm gonna do um, pink. Let's do pink. Um, just for you guys. I hope this video is not too long. I don't like to watch long videos sometimes. So I know if it takes forever, you're probably going to be like, Ugh, how long is this going to take? <laughs> but um, I'll do one more. So this time I'm going to try to do it back here. Okay. Try, 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 try. So I'm just going to cut what I think I need to cut. I'm gonna cut that much, not a lot. 
and um, you're, you're gonna do your slip knot like this, put your finger right through there, twist, put your fingers through and grab the rest just halfway. You don't have to grab it all because all you need to do is make the slip knot. Okay, it, there's your slip knot right there. I hope that you guys can see it good. Okay, so I wish I would have done this live. I would have probably done a good job like I'm doing now. <laughs> okay, so put your fingers right through it. See, I got my slip knot in there. And then you're gonna grab your hair. Okay, you don't wanna grab too much. Just grab some, just grab a couple. Okay, there I think I have four. I'll just get four. Maybe I need more and not three. So I got four and then you put them right through the slip knot. Make sure they're through and it's not through all the way. It was missing one. So I'm gonna do it over guys. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so put your hair together. Slip knot again. Put your fingers through that. Okay, and now you have your slip knot. And I have my hair prepared right here. There's my hair right there and put it right through it see and then you just pull on the slip knot pull yank a little and then you want to tie it again don't pull it too much because you might pull it right off because it's not secure yet i just yanked it a little okay and then make another Remember not to do it hard. Make another knot. Did it come out? Let's see. It didn't come out all the way. It was trying to come out. I'm gonna stick it right back in there. And then you wanna pull this. It's not that easy, guys, but it takes practice and then it'll get easier. And then you tie it. Probably gonna do it three times. Okay, that one's very secure because I felt it. It was hard for it to go down. Okay, so I'm gonna tie it one more time. Just like a regular little knot you're gonna do. There you go. And it's nice and secure. You can't even see it. It's like right all the way in my root. Look, I pull it. And there you go. Yay, I did it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, it's stuck in my hair pretty good. It's like around here somewhere. And there's my fairy hair. And you can kind of see it from back here. See, I'm gonna brush, there's the pink. I'm gonna brush and it's not coming out. And guys, if you guys do this really good, like it will last you months, like it will. Um, I know I told you guys from top, from bottom to top, from top to bottom, not from top to bottom, from bottom to top. But if you guys do really good knots, it will last you like three months, six months. I've had one of, I had two of them actually. I don't think you can, you'll be able to see the other one because it's white. It's like a little goldish color. Look. I'm just gonna show you that it's not coming off. So I'm gonna do from the top. And um, the little, I've had those since like March. So, and I had a friend put it in my hair and um, I've done it to my friends as well. 
I've been practicing a lot and I've had a doll to practice on too and that's been fun. I had a, a wig to practice on. It's been fun doing that. So I've been getting better. It's really, it's really fun doing it with the tool. Um, it's really, really fun. I enjoy doing it with the tool more than I enjoy doing it on myself. It's not that simple on yourself, but on other people, it's fun. So there you go, guys. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please share, comment. Tell me what you want to see more about, you know. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a good night, evening, or morning, whatever you're having. Bye.